only a movie. Only a movie. 2024's The Devil's Bath is a German and Austrian film based on historical records of infanticide that swept across Central Europe during the 1700s. Disturbingly, these killings weren't crimes of passion, but rather a premeditated attempt to escape their God's retribution and eternal damnation. Central Europe was dominated by Catholic regimes, with one of the religion's most overt understandings being that suicide was a sin and unforgivable in the eyes of God. The twisted rationale behind these crimes was simple. Commit murder, confess and secure a place in paradise before facing execution. The brutality of these acts often ensured a swift and relatively dignified death by beheading. Records of these atrocities exceed 300 cases and The Devil's Bath brings at least two of these horrifying events to life on screen. The film begins with a scene that sets the dreary tone. A woman carries an infant to the edge of a waterfall and without a trace of mercy or regret, tosses it. The woman then calmly surrenders to authorities and confesses her crime. Agnes, the film's main character, later discovers the woman's beheaded corpse at the crime scene, with a drawing illustrating her crime and punishment. The other crime centres around our main character, Agnes, a portrayal of Agnes Katharina Schicken. Before delving into spoilers, it's crucial to understand the motives behind these cold-blooded acts. Life in the 1700s was harsh, especially for women, whose roles were confined to servitude, seamstressing or farm work. The prospects for a fulfilling future were bleak, particularly for women who could not bear children. In the film, Agnes's marriage is devoid of intimacy. Her husband prefers self-gratification over marital relations. To make matters worse, her overbearing mother-in-law constantly invades their home, dictating how Agnes should manage the household, and of course always sides with her son. The mother-in-law even drags Agnes to work with her, subjecting her to physically demanding labour. The women who committed these crimes sought a desperate escape from their unfulfilled lives and the depression that accompanied them. Archaic medical treatments like leeches and bloodletting offered no relief, and their desperation to escape their doomed toil would lead them to commit incredible acts. Agnes eventually begins consuming rat poison, a slow, draining method of suicide. However, when she fails to confess her sins during a near-death experience, her path to salvation becomes clear. Inspired by the beheaded woman near the waterfall, Agnes lures a young boy to a remote area, prays with him, and then fatally stabs him in the neck. The book Suicide by Proxy, The Unintended Consequences of Public Executions in 18th Century Germany, describes the real event as follows. Agnes took the boy deep into the forest, where they encountered several passers-by who would later testify that they saw them walking, talking and sitting down together. When the boy wanted to return home in the evening, she threw him violently to the ground. Begging for mercy, the boy tried to appease her by reciting his prayers, the Our Father, and the Creed among them. This was repeated three times. Twice his prayers moved her. She even helped the trembling boy to his feet, but the third time she felt embittered. Throwing the boy to the ground again, she drew a knife and cut his throat so deeply that, as she later described, she could look down into his neck. As his bright blood flowed, she said to him, May God protect you, you sweet angel. You are an angel before God. What followed was an unsolicited and voluntary confession in the hopes of an execution. The Devil's Bath is a bleak and uncomfortable look back at our own history. While the time period and setting may invoke reminders of films like Robert Eggers' The Witch, the physical and psychological deterioration of Agnes throughout the film evokes memories of Reagan in The Exorcist. There are no devils hidden in the frame or demon lurking in the woods. The horror from this film comes from the claustrophobia of being unable to escape an unfulfilling marriage and life, and the unsureness that comes with the unpredictable nature of Agnes once she realises that she is trapped. The Devil's Bath eschews supernatural elements, apart from a fever dream induced by poison and leaves you waiting for a twist that never comes. Instead, it confronts you with the grim reality that our so-called civilised society is still very much in its infancy.
Thank you for watching another love letter from Dread and Terror. Remember to hit the subscribe or face eternal damnation. We love you so much, it's scary.